If you're in need of pain relief, your first thought might be to raid the medicine cabinet. But before reaching for the tablets, you might want to reach out to your friends, who it seems may be connected to our pain tolerance. So squat against the wall with your knees at a 90 degree angle and I'll just start the timer when you're ready. Researchers have been asking volunteers to do this, which if you've not tried yourself, is a rather uncomfortable position. This may look a bit strange, but it's all in the name of science. This is known as the wall sit test. It's a way of measuring someone's pain tolerance. The participants are being timed to see how long they can do it for, and that's then compared to the size of their social circles, the number of friends or relatives they see regularly. So, does being sociable make any difference? To find out, researchers tested 100 volunteers one by one, asking them to maintain the position for as long as possible. Well, it's not massively painful, but it's quite uncomfortable. And my legs are beginning to tremble a little. The muscles are really tensing up and then the trembles are setting in right now, so that becomes really uncomfortable to hold your position. It's getting pretty painful now, like across the top of my legs. It's kind of, yeah, quite hard to keep going. <laughs> The results are fascinating. Those who suggested they had a wide social circle had been able to hold the position for longer, even taking into account differences in fitness levels. It's all thought to be down to endorphins, a chemical in the brain connected to feelings of pain and pleasure. There was some previous research suggesting this link between social bonding and social interactions and the endorphin system. Um, so this is why we investigated it through pain tolerance because endorphins are our body's natural painkillers um, and in fact they're stronger than morphine at an equivalent dose. Perhaps by enhancing our social health and our feeling of connectedness to others, we may be better primed to deal with pain, um, but a lot more research is needed to really know what's going on. So it seems our friends do more for us than we may have realised. Just another reason to be sociable and spend time with them. Lauren Hall, ITV News.